Then there is a beautiful verse. Many times people speak about women and the way they should cover and the way they should be placed in a closet and the way they should be this and that. Not realizing that the rules of the Sharia are not concerning women alone. No. And some of that is a little bit ridiculous. What I say is some of what people create is far beyond what Allah has dictated. Why do we go beyond what Allah has dictated when Allah has given honor and dignity to a female, when Allah has given her such respect that when it comes to the lowering of the gaze in Surah to Nur, Allah starts with the males. And then the females are spoken about later on regarding covering first the males. Allah says in verse number 30 of Surah to Nur, Tell the believing males to lower their gazes. This is way before the women were told anything. Tell the believing males to lower their gazes and to protect their chastity, to protect their private parts, subhanallah. Clear terms in the Arabic language. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses clear cut terms. And Allah says, tell the men to look after themselves. Be modest in your dressing, my beloved brothers. It doesn't mean that just because you are muscular, you know, you can have your mini skirt on your bicep. You know what that means? <laughs> You have your shirt and you're showing your body and every and you are intentionally creating a disaster because you are parading in front of all the women and you think that no, the rule is for the women. They should lower their gaze. My brother, take it easy. You also need to put all of this into clothing that is fitting correctly, fitting correctly, not two sizes too small, such that your shirt is tearing. And as a woman passes, you actually flex your muscle and dah, it tears, you know, <laughs> like you're a Hulk. If that is the case, Wallahi, what you've done is wrong, my brothers and sisters. Don't you agree? It's wrong. You need to also relax, cool down. You've got the muscle. The idea is you need to be powerful. That's what it is. You want to be a strong person. What's the point of a person who's like a feather, but he's got big muscles and he's frightened of a fly or a mosquito in the room. It happens. You see a huge person. There's a cockroach, ah, cockroach, and he wants to run away. What were all the muscles about? Those, all, those muscles were actually for the, for the wrong reason. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us.